Hey everyone, Lewis here for Pixel Surplus, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create the retro sunburst effect in Adobe Illustrator. Let's jump straight in. I'm going to begin by creating an RGB artboard at 1920 by 1080. Now that I can see my artboard, I'm going to draw a circle 800 pixels wide by 800 pixels high. Now that I have my circle, I'm going to make sure it's selected and I'm going to remove the fill color and change the outline color to black. With my circle still selected, I'm going to head to my appearance panel and select stroke. Now I'm going to change the align stroke to the second option, align to the inside. Now that I've aligned my stroke to the inside, I'm going to increase the stroke of my circle to 390 points. It should just look like a filled circle now. I'm going to head back to the appearance panel and select stroke once again. This time, I'm going to turn on dashed lines. For my sunburst, I'm going to use a dash of 30 points and a gap of 30 points. Feel free to play around with these numbers to get your desired effect. Next, we're going to expand our object. But before we do that, I'm going to create a copy and paste it to the outside of the artboard. You never know when you might want to go back and change some of your settings. So select your circle once again, head to object and hit expand appearance, then object and expand. I'm going to select my sunburst and scale it so that it's covering all of the artboard. I'm going to create an orange sunburst with a yellow background. Select your sunburst and head to the fill panel. The orange I'll be using has a hex code FF6801. Now let's add the background. Go to the rectangle tool or hit M on your keyboard and create a rectangle 1920 by 1080. I'm going to be changing the color of my background. So select my rectangle, head to the fill panel and change my background to a vibrant yellow. Now I'm going to send my background behind my sunburst. You can do this by right clicking, arrange, center back, or by hitting shift control open square brackets. As a finishing touch, I'm actually going to add a gradient to the background. Let's begin by opening up the gradient panel. Head to window, gradient. Now let's access the gradient tool by hitting G on your keyboard and select our background. We're going to be using the radial gradient. That's the second option in. Once you've done that, let's change the color of the center of our gradient to yellow. You do this by double clicking on the color picker and changing it to yellow. I'm going to use the yellow out of my swatch. Next, we need to increase the radius of our gradient. Head to the end of our gradient slider and click and hold on the little black box. This will now allow us to increase and decrease the radius of our gradient. I'm going to leave mine about here. Next, let's change the color of the outside of our radial gradient. Do that by selecting here, heading to the color picker tool, and selecting the orange that we used for our sunburst. To clean up our artboard, we're going to create a clipping mask. So access the rectangle tool and create an artboard that's 1920 by 1080. Layer this over the work that we've already created. Select all by hitting Control A on your keyboard. And finally create a clipping mask by hitting Control 7. And there you have it, quick and easy tutorial on how to create a retro sunburst effect in Adobe Illustrator. Now that you know how to create this retro sunburst effect, you can customize it any way you like. I've added gorgeous retro color palettes to our sunburst effect and they look great. If you want to get your hands on these color palettes, head to the link in the description below and that's going to take you right to Pixel Surplus. Pixel Surplus is home to free fonts, textures, mockups, templates, and so much more, as well as the best font bundles on the internet. Crazy premium fonts 
at ridiculous discounts. I promise you, you won't regret going there. And whilst you're down there, why don't you hit the like, subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. And we'd love to hear what you think. Let us know if there's any content or tutorials that you'd like to see in the future and we'll be sure to make those. Thank you so much for watching our tutorial and have a great day everyone.